Welcome to the first video in our series on getting started with the PHP Kali library for the Google Ads API. I am Taneet Brian Narat, a Drupal Editions engineer working on the Google Ads API and the lead maintainer of our PHP Kali library. In this video series, we will go together through all the steps needed to run PHP code examples that use the Google Ads API. First, you will need a PHP development environment that includes PHP version 8.1 or higher, a Google Ads client account, and a Google Ads manager account. The following videos in this playlist will walk you through the process of creating all the credentials that you need. For more information about how to create a manager account, see the link in the video description below. Note that, depending on when you are watching this video, the minimum supported version of PHP in this library may have changed. So please make sure to check the latest supported version in the composer.json file of our GitHub repository of the library as well. We also provide a link to the file in this video description below. Here are the steps that we will take together in the next videos. First, make sure you have all the required credentials. To obtain them, just watch the following videos in the playlist. Once complete, save them in a safe place in your development environment. After that, I will walk you through cloning the PHP client library for the Google Ads API and install all the dependencies using Composer. Then, I will show you how to configure the credentials so that the client library can use them to access your account with the Google Ads API. Finally, I will use one of our code examples to show you how to create your first Google Ads campaign with the Google Ads API. So let's get started, watch the next video and obtain your credentials. I will see you in the next video after that.